first let's start with network problem so if you are having any type of network problem maybe the network is too slow not passing through even when you activate mobile data or no signal then i'm going to show you how you can solve that first thing that you have to do to solve your network problem first when you have a network problem you have to go to settings then go to the network settings of your phone it might be different but you will see something like network settings but for now go to internet right here then you're going to click right here so for yours you can just see network settings so when you go to that network settings so i want you to check this preferred network type so as soon as you check this preferred network type i want you to try switching between the network types that you see right here so try switching between two to 3g network then switch back to the normal uh, preferred network that you always use so that normally solve the problem at times so in case you are having a problem for example if you are having a problem with the hardware section of the lte network right here then you use the 3g network so the phone will drop to the 3g network and you can manage it for that moment until you get your phone to the technician to solve the, the 4g problem so in case that does not solve your problem changing this preferred network type does not solve your problem then you have to go back then you have to go to system so you will see something like system or something if it's not system then try to check what it is in your device so when you go to system you have to find this reset options right here so when you get to this reset options you will have all these reset options right here and what you are going to click on you are going to click on reset mobile network settings so when you click on right here you choose whether you want to uh, erase esms then if you want to erase this then you have to mark it if you don't want to then you just have to leave it like that so as soon as you have checked that then you just click on reset right here it won't reset factory reset your phone it will only reset the network settings second is what to do if your android phone freezes the reason that i'm talking about right here is if your android phone does not manipulate even when you try to use it the power button isn't working when you press it so i'm just telling you what you can do in case your own freezes then the power button isn't working nothing it's not working so what do you have to do what i want you to do is to press and hold the power button for seven seconds for at least seven seconds then the system will force restart then your device will start after the device is being restart then everything will be okay i hope you learned something from that so the third thing right here is how you can set 4g only on your android phone so most android phone have 4g but you cannot set 4g only so i will show you how you can force that 4g only on any android phone so the first step that i'm going to give you right here, i'm going to give you three steps and the first step right here is quite tricky so if any step does not work then you will have to check the other one so first you will need to go to your deal right here then you are going to type this code so i hope you see that as soon as you are in this uh, testing menu right here you're going to click on phone information right here so when you are in phone information you have to scroll down right here you see that set preferred network so you will have to click on right here then you will see all these network connections right here and you are going to come right here to lte only so as soon as you click on lte only right there everything will be okay in case the code does not work this code does not work for any phone but if it does not work in your phone then follow the uh, step that i'm going to show right here is to go to your settings to set the 4G only, go to network settings. You might see network settings right here. Mine is internet. So I'm click on network settings. Mine is that uh, for mine is this setting icon right here. So I click on right here, go down to preferred network type. So if you come right here to preferred network type and you don't see 4G only, sometimes it, it's 3G and 4G. So you want only 4G for the faster connection and you don't see that right here. I'm going to show you the third thing right here that you have to do in case that code isn't working. So if the code is not working in your phone, then you will have to go to the Play Store, then you download 4G LTE switcher from your Play Store. So I'm going to show you how you can use this app right here. So when you download it, you just have to open it then you will have this phone information right here you have to click on it then you have to launch mode right here so as soon as you are right here you scroll right down here then you see LCD physical channel and blah 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 then you see set preferred network type so you have to click on right here and you have to find 
LDE only. So as soon as you are there, then you click on right here, then your phone will be forced to 4G only. That's how you can fix high data usage on any Android phone. So for you to fix data usage in case your Android phone is using a lot of mobile data, you have to go to settings and when you are in settings right here, you have to come to the search option right there and you are going to type data usage. So as soon as you are there, then you have to click this option right here. It might be data usage or app data usage. You have to click on right there then you have to come right here to app data usage. So this settings is very important because it shows you what uses your data most in your phone. So as you can see right here, what uses my data most in my phone is hotspot. So in case you are using too much hotspot, you will have to avoid using it all the time so like facebook right here yeah so this setting shows you all the app that uses your data most and you will have to reduce the the rate in which you use the app so i hope that is helpful